Hi everyone, welcome to Awkward Author. My name is Alyssa Grasso and this is my weekly vlog and podcast about my sometimes awkward but always awesome author life. It's June, it's the start of a new month, so I do have an author income report that I'll be sharing with you in just a little bit. Uh, don't get your hopes up as far as it being an exciting month income-wise. I guess I turned a profit, but it was not a very big profit. Meanwhile, I am moving ahead little by little with uh, the book that I'm working on, which is going to be book two in a three book series, a three book thriller series. And um, didn't make quite as much progress as I wanted to make this week, but any progress is good progress as far as I'm concerned. So I'm at 32,000 words right now on it. And uh, as I've said, I'm probably going to come in around 80, 85,000 with this book. So um, it's a good dent in it. It, it is. Um, I'm very happy to be that far along. I'd like to be further along and, you know, I'm going to keep working towards that. I don't know how this week is going to go as far as how much writing I'm going to get done. My parents are, the, my parents live in Florida. They retired and moved down to Florida. And so they're, they're from this general part of the world, originally from New Jersey. And so they are in the process of doing sort of a whole East Coast tour. So, um, you know, I mean, obviously they started out in Florida and they're driving up and just, you know, stopping different places along the way to visit friends or family, um, eventually making their way all the way up to Maine, where my sister and her family live and some other relatives live as well. Uh, so yeah, they got a big trip. Um, and so they're really like at the, I guess the midpoint of the trip kind of right now. And uh, I will be seeing them, we seeing them some this weekend and also next week. And so, you know, um, I, I, I want to see them, I'm happy to see them. So it does mean my schedule though will be changing a little bit and I something will have to get sacrificed and it'll probably be writing time uh, from what I can tell. You know, it, it just makes the most sense. I still have to do, uh, you know, the stuff that I do that actually brings in an income. And so on that note, uh, I will share with you this month's author income report. So this is what I earned from my books in the month of May 2019. Now, if you've uh, watched or listened to previous episodes, um, you know Barnes & Noble was nice enough to include two, uh, not one, but two of my books in a special like sale promo thing they were doing where I didn't have to do anything at all and they just uh, included those books, which was very nice of them. And you might be thinking, wow, that's awesome. I wish I could get included in one of those. I would sell so many books. Um, and maybe you would. Maybe you would be luckier than I am. But uh, my Barnes & Noble take this month is not really any different than other months. I mean, at least there is some income from Barnes & Noble. There isn't always, but uh, yeah. Uh, well, why don't I get to the author income report? So... In the month of May 2019, I only made um, sales on two different platforms, and that was Barnes & Noble and Amazon. And as you can probably guess, Amazon was the, the bulk of my sales, as usual, despite that Barnes & Noble promo. And in fact, that Barnes & Noble promo brought in a whole, are you ready for it, $3.39. So um, if you've been hoping and dreaming to be included in one of those, um, that's nice, but uh, don't get your hopes up about it. Uh, so, you know, it, it might bring me sales down the road, maybe, possibly, I don't know, but um, the actual take from that is $3.39. Now that is actually two sales because I sold one of my books at full price, um, which was, I, I don't know if that was related to the sale or not. It was right around the time the sale started and before I had a chance to change prices. So it might have been as a result of being included in that or might not have. And then I sold another at the discounted price. I think I discounted it to $1.99. So anyway, uh, that's an and full price. I think it's $3.99 on Unnamed Road. So uh, 3.39. Um, anyway, I uh, won't be running away to Mexico or anything anytime soon. So the rest of my income this month came from Amazon, and the breakdown for that was, let me see here. Uh, so most of the Amazon income, as usual, was through ebook sales. That was $50.46 from ebooks, and then paperbacks um, that I have through, well, it used to be CreateSpace, but it, it's now 
Kindle direct print or whatever it is. Um, uh, the paperback sales are $29 and 59 cents. Um, so my total take from Amazon was $83 and 44 cents. Um, and nearly all of those were American sales. I think I had a single Australian sale and maybe, maybe a couple Europe sales there. It looks like, um, so yeah, nearly all of that was, uh, Amazon US sales. So for the month of May, my total uh, earnings income, whatever you want to call it, was $83.44. But guess what, guys? Um, I did play around with some advertising this month. I'm continuing to run AMS ads um, here and there and also tried out a couple of BookBub ads, which didn't net me any sales, but I did spend money on. So um, I spent $15.83 uh, in May on Amazon AMS ads, and then $20 on some BookBub ads, uh, 20 even. So that was a total of $35.83 spent on advertising this month leaving me with a profit of, are you ready for it? A grand total of $47.61. Uh, yeah, so uh, not, a, not a great take, I would say, for the month of May. Obviously, you know, I want to grow my author income and I am trying to figure out ways to do that. And that is one of the reasons I am working on this three book series that I'm working on because I think uh, there's some things you can do as far as promoting a series and book sales that uh, is difficult to do when you just have standalone books, which is all that I have in print right now. Uh, so I'm hoping, I'm hoping that, you know, maybe I can crack this code or whatever once I do have a series out there, at least one. And, you know, if that works, then there might be more series. We'll see uh, somewhere down the road. But uh, let me get to this one first. Uh, in the meantime, obviously, you know, because my author income is not huge, I do have to, you know, balance the time that I spend on writing things and, you know, work on things that I actually do bring in an income. So, you know, I, I still spend quite a bit of time on writing, uh, especially for something that, you know, isn't bringing in a lot of money, but it's something I enjoy. It's something I've always enjoyed and I think, you know, I, I, I just feel better when I'm able to, you know, do these creative things, um, especially writing. It, it's in part, you know, while it's something I do, you know, because I do hope to make money from it down the road and I do treat it kind of like a business, um, it also is something that I pursue because I enjoy it. And I probably, if I didn't enjoy it, I wouldn't pursue it because it just, uh, it wouldn't make sense financially, at least at this point. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully it's something that I can enjoy and also make f money from, um, you know, going forward, going somewhere down the line, I would, I would hope. That's, you know, the ultimate goal. But uh, in the meantime, um, you know, I will keep working on my books. I will keep, you know, in whatever way I can promoting them. Uh, but, you know, I also have to, you know, be realistic. And, and like I say, you know, this week I've got, you know, family visiting. Um, so obviously I'm going to spend time with them. And that's going to eat into writing time because that's the, you know, what I can afford to, to give up, uh, you know, to, to do some fun stuff with family. Um, you know, I can't really afford to give up the day job stuff because that's where the money's coming from my day business type stuff. So I have to do that, you know, uh, you know, right now I'm making this video or recording this podcast, whatever you want to say. Um, I'm trying to get this done quickly so that I can get out, um, and get some work done uh, today and, you know, will I get any writing done today? Probably not. Uh, today's not gonna be a writing day. Tomorrow, uh, which is actually when I'll be releasing this on Wednesday, is normally a day I spend some time doing writing and I will, but, you know, I got a lot of things I have to do. So, you know, the writing time might, might get eaten into a little bit. And, you know, over the weekend and next week, uh, you know, when I am, you know, visiting with family, uh, definitely not going to be doing as much stuff as I would normally do as far as writing goes. So, you know, when I talk to you next week, I'll hopefully have made some progress, but am I going to have written more than like 2000 words? I don't know. Uh, I really don't know, you know, what I will get to this week, which I guess is something to consider, you know, whatever you're doing, if you're, you know, doing this as a hobby right now or doing it as something that's actually bringing in, you know, a significant income or even a full-time income, um, it's a little bit different. 
But uh, yeah, you know, you have to balance your time and do, I think, what works for you, uh, of course, always. But also, you know, what makes the most sense to financially. And, you know, if you're treating it as like a hobby, as something you're doing for fun and, you know, then what you shouldn't be sacrificing thing, you know, time that you're bringing in your actual income, but you might want to sacrifice time maybe that you're watching television or, you know, just doing something fun or have a howling dog back here. Jack, what are you doing? You're fine. So I guess he's telling me I better wrap this thing up. Jack, what? Um, he wanted to be part of it this week, I guess. Who knows? Anyway, on that note, um, I'm going to sign off. Uh, like I said, I do put out new episodes of Awkward Author every week. Once a month, I share with you uh, how much money I've made from my books. Once in a while, I do have a dog whining in the background for no apparent reason. So I thank you all for watching this, for listening to this. And of course, as always, if you liked, please, you know, give a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, that sort of thing. I will, of course, be catching up with you again next week. And if you would like to know more about me, you can check out my website, which is alissagrasso.com. That's A-L-I. S-S-A-G-R-O-S-S-O dot com. I do apologize for the doggy distractions today. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you and talk to you guys all again next week. Take care. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.